What is going on, Adventure Nation? In this episode, we're gonna talk about two things that we love doing. One is beach camping, and the other is free camping. In other words, free beach camping. Yes. <laughs> this is life with Paul and Lorena. We are rolling out of Bayou Signet. I think that's close. It's a state park just outside of New Orleans, about 12 miles from the French Quarter. Very nice state park. It is water electric only, but very nice. A little crazy to get into at night after nine o'clock. You have to do some padlock unlocking and locking and gate swinging on your own. There are no electric gates to get you in here at night, so that's kind of weird. But uh, overall, pretty nice park. They have some crazy cool cabins here out on the canal that I don't have any video of. Nice day. We only did two nights here in New Orleans. I wish we'd done more because going down and hanging out, listening to live music is one of our things. So very cool. One thing I will say about traveling around this part of the United States, and that is the Gulf Coast, is that there is a lot of two-laning to be done, which we absolutely love doing. It gets pretty narrow, and there are a lot of bridges in this video. Bridge <laughs> after bridge after bridge. A lot of water. Oh man, this place looks awesome. This is like old school TME travel here. We are at Rutherford Beach, Louisiana, and it is way down off of the interstates. And it is awesome. It's this solid sand beach. There's other people camped out here. There was another class A out here, a class C, so I felt comfortable driving out here. And it is just miles and miles of this beautiful beach. The sand isn't that white silica sand that they have in the uh, Emerald Coast up there in Destin and that, but it's nice. And uh, see all the people out here fishing? And me. <laughs> and Lori. Just it's enjoying cool. what do you think? people. Pretty oh, cool, right? It's cool, yeah, I love it. You can see some oil rigs off there in the, in the distance. You probably won't be able to see them on this part of the camera, but you see some oil rigs offshore there. If the wind would kick up just a little bit in the other direction, I might be able to get some kiting in. Right now it's directly offshore, so if I ran into problems, I'd have to be rescued by an oil rig worker, so that wouldn't be any good. Just make sure you're landing at a yeah. oil rig. Yeah, so that's not good. I gotta be waiting for the wind to be onshore here, or at least side shore. But this is gonna be our home for the night, maybe two nights, who knows, okay. we'll see. But uh, awesome, awesome. Dude, are you gonna come out or are you gonna stay in there? What are you doing? Do you want to stay in or do you want to come out? Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. There you go. Come on, giant sandbox, man. Giant sandbox. Now go play. What do you think, Oz? Oh, yeah, get nice and sandy and then climb up on the bed tonight. Perfect. Oh my goodness. It's your cat. I know, he cuddles with me, not with you, so <laughs> I need to wipe him down before that. I think so. <laughs> you always want me to wipe my feet down. You're going to yeah, wipe down your cat. All of him, yeah. Of course, camera will never do it justice, but the sunset is absolutely gorgeous tonight. The colors are crazy. Well, we got somebody catching something down here on the beach. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to see it from here, but this lady just caught this probably three or four foot red fish. And uh, fish is almost as big as she is. She's a little old thing. And, uh, or maybe a little young thing, I don't know. But the fish is as big as she is. That's crazy. Good for her. 
Oh, they released it. And what Lori missed earlier is me picking up a shark and putting it back in the water. The shelling is so good here, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> she was shelling and I went down because these guys brought in what I thought was a shark. And it was like a little, I don't know, two, three foot shark. Black tip, and uh, yeah. black tip. Yeah. And then You're the really guy good. the guy uh, took it off the hook and uh, the lady says, oh, why don't you toss it back in? I'm like, uh, I've really never grabbed a shark before. So I did. I grabbed it by the tail how and... How it felt? Rubbery? A little rubbery. And of course the thing was, uh, it didn't like me hanging onto its tail. So it was like shaking like crazy. So I could just slimy. imagine the thing. Uh, I really didn't figure out if it was slimy or rubbery because I was too worried about it being able to maybe bite me. So I just huh. turned around and give it a little fling into the ocean. It was pretty Aww. cool. Yeah. So it was, and then it swam back okay. towards us, which was weird. Have you guys seen Anchorman? You guys will remember Sharky. <laughs> <laughs> just like making friends with the shark. Yeah. The next morning. ready to roll out of Rutherford? Kind of. Yeah, great spot. It is a great spot. It's like the water is amazing, very shallow, low waves, a lot of shelling, nice beach, a little bit dirty, but not too bad. A lot of shells. Holy smokes. Yeah. I got attacked by crabs twice. No, that was that was in Panama City I got attacked, but here I just stepped close to one and it was a possible attack, but it didn't happen. So that was good. Great free beach camping. There is still free beach camping in America, folks. <laughs> so that's a, a good thumbs up in Rutherford Beach here in Louisiana. But we're going to roll on over to some more free beach camping over in Texas. So uh, let's do this. And then eventually, hopefully, I'll put my camera thing back up there so that I don't have to hold the camera up like this and we can talk when we're going on the road. But And just by the way, it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. You're going to come here and the roads are going to be pretty much empty. But once you get here, there's like a few RVs that yeah. come and go here. Yeah, so. but it is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there are quite a few people, so you're not going to be alone, that's for sure. We have arrived here at the Boulevard Galveston Ferry. We decided to stick along the coast and do the ferry across to Galveston. We never done this before. The last time we went up over the top and this time we decided why not? It's a free ferry. It's part of the Texas road system and uh, we've done the one between Port Aransas and wherever that one goes but we've never done this one. This one's a little bit longer ferry so we're uh a little ways back from the front. I have a feeling that we're not going to get the next ferry. It's probably going to be at least two. Who knows? I don't know how many they put, but they can take us 18 wheelers and it's free. Yeah. Ooh. So we'll know when you guys know. Or we'll know a little bit before you guys know because obviously we're recording. So, yeah. 
they're loading the ferry, so we're just keeping our fingers crossed to see if we get on this one or have to go next. All right, we have made it onto the ferry. Yes. And my camera cut out part way on. I don't know how much of that I got, but I mean, it wasn't that exciting anyways. We were just pulling onto the ferry and now we're stuck behind this fifth wheel. So we can't really see anything out the front, which kind of sucks, but they we're allowed to get out. Though. Yeah, but we can see from the side yeah, too. We can see from the side, but we're allowed to get out. I think we might get out. Just go and get some cheese out. Yeah. pretty cool. It is a cool way to travel with your vehicle. And uh, as long as we don't get hit by a tanker. That one's on anchor, so we don't have to worry about that one. So they have plenty of ferry. That's the second one we have seen, plus the one we're in. This guy here has the best view of everything. He's right out in the front of his truck. There's one of the other ferries. We have just arrived over in Galveston. How'd you like our free boat ride with our free ferry? It was like a dolphin tour. Yeah. And it was pretty cool for free. And Freya yeah, traveled like with it. And Ozzy too. And Ozzy too, yeah. It all <laughs> All right, I didn't have the camera rolling when we got here to the beach, but uh, we got to the beach. So here we are again, another free beach camping spot. This one is Brazoria County Beach, and it is spectacular. And uh, my lovely bride and I are gonna enjoy a beverage of our choice, kick back here on the dune. Oh, this sand is so soft. So soft. Very soft sand. Cool. And uh, we're going to enjoy a nice beverage. I'm going to have a doctor and she's going to have herself a Topo Chico, Topo Chico hard seltzer. And uh, we're going to finish off our day here. Should be nice. Yeah. Hey, Lori. Yes. I don't think uh, your cat is hating this. Oh, no. It's a giant litter box, remember? <laughs> Ozzy. Come on over here, buddy. He's been skittish, though. Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? He's getting too far away from the door. He's looking around going, uh, there's the door. Okay, I, I'm, I'm safe. Let me smell some things, and then uh, if I can stay out a little longer, I will, but I got to make sure the door's there and it's open. You're fine, buddy. You're there's, fine. There's a truck coming, so I, have, I don't have high hopes. I think he's about to bolt. Yeah. Look at that. He hung out even though the truck went by. Oh, I'm so what? proud of you, dude. What, buddy? The next morning. This Brazoria County beach is super wide. So it gives you all kinds of parking options. We could have parked down here a little closer to water, but 
we weren't quite sure how much further that was going to come up so we didn't want to take any chances where the water touches your tires if the water touches your tires you're toast you're going to be stuck so we we don't want to take that chance at all but you can see back there we're up against the the uh, the dunes and it's a great spot up there it's nice and hard and it's just a little bit of a walk down to the water but just a spectacular beach and you can't beat free beach camping and for a Tuesday there's quite a few people out here really and there were quite a few people out here when we arrived yesterday but still nothing that's doesn't feel busy at all I'm assuming on the weekends this gets pretty busy because it is close to Galveston and close to some of the other areas down in Houston and things like that. All right, we are rolling out of Brazoria County Beach and eventually I'm gonna find the other camera so that uh, we can do the picture in picture thing like we used to do. But to be honest with you, I look better from behind the camera anyways. So that's a plus. We are gonna be heading over to Magnolia Beach Texas today and that is another free beach camping spot this will be three in a row and that'll be pretty cool it's not near as pretty as the last two spots we were in uh, it's kind of a, a rocky I think maybe even Shelly Beach I, I don't remember I remember it not being a great beach uh, very very hard pack but super quiet that should be extreme spot for boondocking. great spot for boondocking yes just as a beach not the not the best beach but we're gonna go up over the top of Matagorda Bay and then down into Port Lavaca and then just south of Port Lavaca is Magnolia Beach. If you guys hear me scream, by the way, it's because Ozzy's up on the top of the slide and he's coming down any time now as we start rolling like he just did. <laughs> he missed me. And uh, I figured he was gonna scratch the heck out of me, but he hasn't the last couple or three times he's done it, so he's getting better. But off and rolling to Magnolia Beach. It's gonna be a short day. How many miles today, Lori? Open. Like 120 miles. 120 miles, so a nice short day. Shouldn't be more than three hours or so. typical sleepy little beach town we'll see how many people are out at uh, Magnolia Beach so as you can see we come right down to the ocean before we make our right we do a little dance through a neighborhood and then we're out to Magnolia Beach some cute little houses in the little town and then we take a drive right along the bay. Here we go, out onto the beach. Welcome to Magnolia Beach. Little washboardy. So limits 14 days with a 30 day gap. We are only going to be doing one night, so we have no problem there. Be courteous, we have no problem with that. No discharge of any wastewater, we have no problem with that. I think we're good to go, Lori. Be courteous, no dumping wastewater, no more than 14 days. No littering. No littering, we got it. 
we can handle that. We'll go back down into the same spot we were in before. You know the exact same spot. Yeah, it's just past these houses here. <laughs> yeah, the stuff out here is a little run down. I doubt they're renting any of those kayaks. This is kind of a cool little spot up here on the top. Very small, but it'll do the trick. And I think we're just going to hook a left right here. Lori, what do you think? Hi, y'all. I'm not trespassing. We're going to go straight out. Yeah, and then we can, we're not in front of anybody's house. No. And then we can back straight up when we get ready to leave, car and all. As you can see, we just arrived at Magnolia Beach. It, it's a great spot to overnight or actually spend a few days. It's just not a super pretty site. The beach is, is hard packed gravel slash shells, but it is super, super quiet. Well, it's funny because year one, we got so excited with that beach because it was free camping on the beach. Now that we have been to many other free camping sites on the beach, we think it's a great spot. It's a good spot, not a great spot. Right, right. Now, Rutherford <laughs> Beach in Louisiana, we had never been before because it is kind of out of the way. It's way, way down off of the main highway and you kind of have to be heading there on purpose to get to it. It's not something you're gonna stumble upon, but it was a really cool beach. It was, it really was. It was very quiet and very nice people around in the daytime, very quiet at night. Yeah, there were a lot of people just fishing right from the shore, which was really cool watching them catch fish and they were catching a lot of stuff. I guess uh, Red Rum was one of them, or is that just, no, that's that's the movie where they, that's murder backwards. <laughs> Red Drum, yeah. maybe? I think that might've been it. <laughs> <laughs> See, they got into your subconscious it, it, it got into, <laughs> I'm scarred for life from that movie. There were a lot of fishermen, and I got to hold a shark. For the first time? Yeah, Lori didn't see it, but I got to hold a shark, which was pretty cool. I didn't really hold it, I just grabbed the tail quick and threw it in the ocean, because uh, I was kind of terrified. And it was like about getting him on the ocean, I guess. Yes, it was really about helping the shark get yeah. back to his, his family, I guess. But it, it was a nice beach. It's a nice big wide beach. It's hard packed sand, so you don't have to worry about getting stuck. And, and there are campers uh, too. So the nice thing is that you don't feel really alone. It's like, so there's other people around you too, but yeah. your day goers, they leave fairly early too. So yeah, nice. people come in, do the, do the day use stuff and, and head back out again. And then the other beach we've been to before as well, Brevoria County. I don't know if that's the name of the beach, but it's Brevoria County. Uh, free beach camping is I think the way it shows it on the uh, on Google Maps and it's just outside of Seaside, Texas and so it's very very cool and uh, big wide beach hard pack and we is the entrance is very tricky at least where it tells you where to go we miss the entrance and we have yeah. to go and turn around and then try to come back yeah it's not really really well marked but uh, uh, you know, once you find it, you find it, and it, mm -hmm. it's not uh, not too bad, and no problem getting in or out of that spot, and so uh, just great, great beach camping in all three of those: Rutherford Beach, Louisiana, Bravor Bravoria, or is it Brazoria County? I'll I put it down. Brazoria. I think it's Brazoria, so we'll yeah. put that down below to make sure, and that is in Texas, and then also uh, Magnolia Beach, Texas, and we'll put all of that uh, either in the description below or I'll put it up here on the screen so that you guys know where uh, where they were. But yes, there is still some free beach camping in America, folks. Uh, not so much, I don't think, out on the California coast, but definitely on the Gulf Coast. So, and also not on the East Coast. <laughs> yeah, definitely not on the East Coast either. So if you're in that area though, check them out. They are really, really, really cool spots. So that's it for this one. In the next video, we're actually gonna explore another beach camping spot. It's not gonna be free, but you'll have to come on back and Almost check that one out. Free. Almost free? You sound like the, the sales guys. Almost free, almost free. I know. <laughs> it is almost free beach camping, and we'll see that in the next episode, but that's where we are with this one. It'd be great if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means they have to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video, and we'll see you again in the next one. I haven't done this in a long time, so I have been rehearsing my line, subscribe. Oh, yeah? That was a tough one for you? Do you remember that remember one? That. Oh, remember that. that was <laughs> a long time <laughs> it has been a long time speaking of beaches we're enjoying the beach here
There's actually yes. some kiters out there. There's some boilers out there. Favorite beverage. Yeah, we got our beverages out, and uh, yeah, it's a it's not a super nice warm day out. I but know it's like time to probably go in to the RV and start cozying up because it's chilly. Yeah, and we'll talk about all this again in a future episode. <laughs> sure, right? Bye, guys. <laughs>